If I roll up on probably all of you in here, or you ask anyone even on the street, um, do you want to be wise? What are they going to say? Yes. All right. Now, what if I ask or you ask somebody, uh, do you want humility? Do you want to be humble? Now, some might say yes. But especially in our cultural context, uh, you'll find a lot of people that's like, oh, I don't know about that. Or even if they say yes, by action, most of us don't desire to be humble, right? And so the funny thing is, uh, James says, you cannot separate these two. Um, uh, the irony is that James says that wisdom is proved by conduct, which is motivated by humility, so it's not just having good deeds and conduct because you can do a deed that is motivated by a selfish desire. We'll get to this in a sec, right? Or you can do a deed that's out of humility. And this is what proves that you have wisdom, all right? So James is saying that they're tied together. You can't say that you have wisdom without doing good deeds and have conduct that's done out of humility, 